let's consider the inverse of this function and afterwards we choose from one of these options to solve this problem step number one replace f of x with y hence instead of f of x we now got y step number two make x the subject that is isolate x however as you can see x is in a difficult position to be able to neutralize exponential we need to understand some mathematical concepts in mathematics in x is the same thing as log s but with a natural base also exponential neutralizes a natural log and reduces it to an x similarly in exponential x is equal to x each of these concepts is very important to remember when solving some mathematical problems similarly a in x is equal to in x to the power of a this means if i have 1 over 2 in 9 my answer will be in 9 to the power of half this is the same as writing in square root of 9 because square root of 4 is the same thing as 4 to the power of half is equal to 2 hence this is in 3 with the knowledge of these concepts we need either n or log to neutralize exponential looking at the options we have n hence I will apply the third option by taking natural log of both sides. However, before you take the natural log of both sides, take plus 3 across so that it becomes minus 3. This will ensure that only the exponential is on its own on the other side now you can take the natural log of both sides do not make a mistake of taking the natural log of both sides at this stage if you do that you are going to get stuck with the calculation however making exponential to be on its own on one side makes taking the natural log of both sides easy to solve as you can see here next natural log we eliminate exponential now 2x is free next take 2 across and it's going to divide everything here as you can see x is now isolated however because of the presence of this natural log in this rational function this can be simplified further respecting this rule that is this can be rewritten as this and this are the same however a in b is equal to in b to the power of a hence I'm going to rewrite this to look like this hence I've just applied this mathematical law next step number three take the inverse of x that is f inverse of x is equal to and instead of y I'm not going to have x this is inverse of the function 
which is our final answer and our final answer is a beware of b this is our answer you can check out other videos and topics in precalculus and you can locate other videos by following the link on the screen i will see you in the next video